All right, this is part two of my Dr. Stifler experiment where he has the light bulb in the water. And that's a um, 110 volt night light bulb right there. It's a filament bulb. And uh, based on his suggestions uh, from my last experiment, I changed a few things. I got rid of the coil that was down here, doctor, that uh, you said might be making a, a, a mecha um, magnetic link between the two exciters. So I took that off and just went to your one wire like you showed in your video and then you notice I don't have a ground wire on this anymore it's just like you showed in your video it's just a one wire feeding this uh, into the second sec I bumped the voltage up to uh, 24 volts like what you showed and uh, it's a little dark in this video because I wanted to show the effect in the glass kind of like what you showed but uh, same thing on this side I've got 24 volts on this side <coughs> with the sec 15-3 it goes in through one wire, in through the one wire to the aluminum foil around the glass. There's water in that glass, tap water. The bulb is suspended by one wire that goes over to the sec, second, sec exciter, which happens to be in a sec 18-X. These are all Dr. Stifler circuits. Now let me turn this on. Watch the bulb here, and this is running off this exciter through a capacitive link and it's not connected to the bulb. This exciter here is going to come on. There's the bulb on in the water. And that exciter is running. Now, doctor, I did what you told me to do and tried it with a 500 ohm resistor across the rails uh, without this connected at all. And <clears throat> you can tune this. You can see the uh, bulb go in and out of residence, the LED bulb, by tuning this. So it is being fed, like you say, in a backwards fashion. Runs through the circuit, hits the capacitor through that diode, loads up the capacitor, and basically runs the circuit. Like you say, it's like having the ground move underneath the tire instead of the tire rolling along the top of the ground. Very interesting. Okay, let me hook up the second exciter, the 18, and watch the bulb. There she goes. And this doctor is very similar to what you showed in your experiment. This lights up the whole beaker of water. And uh, I thought this was very interesting. Let me take off the 15 here. You watch this drop back down again. And there it goes back down, barely on. Even though the exciter is running, it's really out of tune now. And it comes back on. The other thing you showed was the ability to tune this in and out of resonance. And if I touch this uh, L3 coil on the 15, I can tune this right out of resonance. So anyway, that's to me uh, closer and closer to what, uh, what your experiment showed uh, with the light bulb in the water. And uh, I got a big bang out of this one, doctor. And I hope somebody else can replicate this. Um, if you got a couple of sex, uh, standard sex, not home... Uh, home design but Dr. Stifler sex. Um, try this one out. This is a real interesting experiment. Let me take off the 18 again. There goes the bulb. <laughs> now it's just running on the 15. 18 is not connected here. It's running but it's not running in resonance with the 15. Let me plug the 18 back in again. There's the big light on in the water. So anyway, I got a big bang out of this one. Thanks a lot. Thanks everybody for watching.